Well, I studied with a Spanish instructor in La Jolla, California, and right away, right off the bat, I just used very intense colors. But it was just, uh, I would say, innate. I had that ability to use color uh, as, in, as intense as I could possibly use. Uh, I started thinking in terms of doing Brenda Starr because Brenda Starr to me is my alter ego, my role model. To me her life was much more exciting than, than say my mother's life or my aunt's life. And Brenda Starr, oh she was just what I wanted to be. Beautiful red hair and she had her own job and she would travel all over the world and she had uh, a romance going with a mystery man, Basil. And to me, that was more exciting. But I did not want to be a housewife, okay? When I decided I wanted to go to California, a lot of the members in my family were shocked. They said, oh, it's bad out there. And I just didn't believe them. And my mother was very hurt that I was leaving. I guess they thought I'd marry someone in my small town and that would, you know, have, I'd have a lot of children and so on, but that's not what I wanted. Okay, the paintings uh, are about Brenda Starr and her life, but it's a reinvented life. It's not something that I read about. I created a new life for her. And I placed her in situations that I was familiar with. What would Brenda do if she caught uh, Basil uh, cheating on her? What would she do? Well, I have her on top of an arch and she's in the Grand Canyon and she's lifting this heavy rock or boulder up into the air. And she's going to throw, throw this boulder at him, even though he seems kind of far away, but then Wonder Woman could throw that far. Why couldn't Brent a star? Meanwhile, while I was gone, especially in California, people were dying back in Pittsburgh that were part of the family. And I go back and I say, hey, where is everyone? Where's mom? Where's dad? Where's my sister Betty? After all, it had only been 30 years since I left. And I had to say that because I realized I had made a big leap there. <clears throat> but I, in, in, because I made that leap, I left a lot of people behind who eventually died. Sleeping and having a dream, it's the pillow. Okay, they're dream pillows. That's what I called them at first. So even though it's not a regular pillow, a rectangular pillow, it was a pillow. And for some reason that pillow became important to me. And I guess it's because there was a little girl who lived on our second floor when we used to rent it out when I lived in Pittsburgh. And she would draw cats on pillows. They were, that was real popular. And she gave me one, oh, I thought this was wonderful. And I think that had an effect on me. Yeah. And she died later, which made it even more precious. So it was the pillow, the square pillow. Probably where, it's probably where it started. <laughs> 